we're given the trig function y equals three times tangent of the quantity two x plus pi divided by two. We want to find the period and the horizontal shift and then graph the function. So for review, if we have the tangent or cotangent function in this form here, remember a is not the amplitude, tangent and cotangent have no amplitude, though the value of a will either vertically stretch or vertically compress the graph of tangent and cotangent. Next, the period of the function is equal to pi divided by b. Notice how this quantity here is in factored form. And we have pi here, not two pi, because remember pi is the period of the basic tangent and cotangent function. For all the other functions, this is two pi divided by b. And then c, the constant on the end, vertically translates or vertically shifts the graph. So if c is positive, the graph is shifted up c units, and if c is negative, if we have minus a constant here, then the graph is shifted down the absolute value of c units. And then finally d, this value here, horizontally shifts or horizontally translates the function. If d is greater than zero, meaning we have x minus d, then the function is shifted right d units, and if d is negative, so we'd have x plus d, then the function is shifted the absolute value of d units to the left. So going back to our example, the first thing you need to recognize is that we have to factor this quantity here so that we have two times x plus some quantity. We want the coefficient of x to be one. So starting with the given function, we would have y equals three times tangent of if we factor out two from these two terms, if we factor out two from two x, we'd have x. If we factor out two from pi divided by two, we can think of dividing by two or multiplying by one half, that would be pi divided by four. Notice how if we distribute the two, we have two pi divided by four, which is still pi over two. Notice in this form, we can use two to find the period, and we can use this pi over four to find the horizontal shift. So again, the period would be equal to pi divided by b, which in this case would be pi divided by two. And then the horizontal shift, notice here we have x plus pi divided by four, which means the graph is actually shifted left pi over four radians. Now we are gonna go ahead and graph this function, but notice how the value of a is positive three. That's not the amplitude, but this will vertically stretch the graph of our function. To graph the transformation of this tangent function though, we're going to rely on key components of the basic tangent function graphed here. Notice if we focus on one piece of the tangent function, let's say the piece between negative pi over two radians and positive pi over two radians, Notice over the period, the graph starts and ends with a vertical asymptote. In the middle of the period, the function value is zero, this point here. And if we divide this into four equal parts, here and here, notice the function value one-fourth of the period to the right of the center. Here, the function value is one. And notice if we go one-fourth of the period to the left of the center here, the function value is negative one. We'll use these vertical asymptotes and these three key points to graph this transformation. Let's begin by focusing on this point here in the middle of the period where the function value is zero. If our graph is shifted pi over four units to the left, we'll take this point here and shift it left pi over four radians. So instead of being at the origin, if we label this negative pi over four radians, that point would now be here. And from here, since the period is pi over two radians, if we divide this in half, that would be pi over four radians, which means the vertical asymptotes will be pi over four radians to the right and pi over four radians to the left of this point in the center. Which means we'll have a vertical asymptote here, pi over four radians to the left, and here, pi over four radians to the right of the center. So this would be zero radians, and this would be negative two pi divided by four radians or negative pi over two radians. 
Now let's go ahead and divide this interval into fourths. So we'll divide this here and we'll divide this here. Again, if we go one fourth of the period to the right of the center, this function value is positive one, but because of this coefficient of three here, when this tangent function value is positive one, it'd be three times one or positive three. So if we go one fourth to the right of the center, the function value would be positive three here, not positive one. So again, this is one, two, three, negative one, negative two, and negative three. So now if we go one fourth of the period to the left of the center, instead of having a function value of negative one, it'd be three times negative one or negative three. Again, the coefficient of three is vertically stretching this graph. And now our graph passes through these three points and approaches the vertical asymptotes, so it would look like this. And now that we have one piece of this graph, we can just copy and paste this to the right and to the left. So let's go ahead and divide this up into its periods here. And here would be the vertical asymptotes on the right. On the left we have one here. The function values in the middle of each of these intervals would be zero, so we have a point here, here, and here. Divide this into fourths. If we move one fourth of the period to the right of center, the function value would be positive three. So here, here, and here. If we move one fourth to the left of the center, the function value would be negative three. Here, here, and here. Now we can sketch more of the graph. So here's a graph of the given function. I hope you found this helpful.